I'm not in my car, by the way. I'm in my mom's car. My car has no air right now. I've ordered the part and I'm waiting on it to get here. And it's like 92 degrees outside today and I'm fat and I'm pale. I don't do the heat. So my mom was like, why don't you guys just use my car to go get errands done? We are not arguing. Huh? And we are not arguing. No. And, ooh, don't pull me over. You know it's illegal to have that mountain on your windshield in Kentucky? And he's dead ass looking at me. Don't pull me over, Mr. State Trooper. This is not my car. He's nah. staring hard, too. No, nah, we good. <laughs> he was, like, out the side of his car. He's not moved. Okay, well. Mm. Lily is staying the night at my mom's house tonight, and that means James and I are making a video. Pause. I didn't do an intro. <laughs> mm. Hey, guys. It's Jennifer. Don't laugh at me for starting the intro three and a half minutes into this video. We're just going to ignore it. Um, we're we'll just the other half in somewhere. Nah, I'm gonna just leave it like this. We are vlogging today. We are, we just dropped off Ellie Belly at my mom's house. Um, I don't know how to feel about telling you guys, but pretty much every weekend, pretty much every weekend, Ellie on one night of the weekend stays either at my dad's house or my mom's house just because my mom's off on weekends and that's when she gets to hang out with Ellie Belly and well, everyone fights over who gets to see Ellie Belly the most, so that's what happens. But anyway, she's staying with my mom tonight, and James and I are going to finish painting Ellie's room, hang up curtains. I knocked a hole in the wall because I fell last night. It was a whole thing, so we've got to fix that. We've got to get groceries, go to Lowe's, see about some home insurance because there is a boo-boo. I'll tell you about that in a second, and get his car title. Was that it? There was something else. <coughs> I'm sure there's more. It's just that. Oh, I need is I'm not very good at hanging stuff up on the wall. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even if I have a level, it's always like a little, little skewed. And I'm really indecisive when I hang stuff up on the walls. So it's like a whole thing. So he's gonna, cause he's off tonight. He's gonna help me decorate our home. And we're gonna put all the rubber duckies in their bathroom. It's gonna be great. Oh. I need to bleach my teeth really bad. You know you said forever ago you would do it with me. No, I don't remember saying that. You did. There's a car agreeing. riding dead ass in my blind spot. I remember, uh, I remember agreeing to the charcoal. That's what I'm talking about. And then I quickly decided that I wasn't gonna do the charcoal. That's not that big a deal. Although, I was doing some further research. If you watched my Ulta haul, um, I bought toothpaste that had charcoal in it, activated charcoal. And I was, like, really jiving on it. And my teeth felt really white. And, like, I was, I was pimping out with it, okay? And then I was doing more research on it. And if you keep on and keep on using that charcoal every day instead of, like, once a week or once every other week or something like that, it'll, it's so gritty, it'll take your enamel off. And your teeth look so white because it's scrubbing away your enamel. And huh. then after prolonged use of it, like daily prolonged use, your teeth will look really dingy and yellow. And it's from where you've knocked off all your enamel and it's like the inner of your tooth. Which is why I don't use it every day anymore. I use it like once a week or so. One time's not going to hurt you. Come on. Cool uh, kids do it. I already have weak enamel anyway. He does have horrific teeth. Like, my teeth are very, very crooked but they're like healthy, if that makes sense. I think I've only ever had like one cavity or something when I was little. They're like super crooked, but like I take care of them. And like he just has really weak enamel. Well, it's because my teeth are dying from the inside. It's 94 degrees outside. No shit. Well, I just now saw, you said it was 90. It's 94 degrees. I said it was 93. Oh my god, I thought you said 90. Yeah, it's hot. It's too what hot is, for this dog. What is 4 degrees after 80? After 70. Wait. I'm a winter person. If it was like 50 to 60 degrees all year long, I'd be totes okay. I am too, but I can totally deal with, you know, like 74. Nope. Not even. I can't. Can't do it. 
with the windows down. Nope. All right, I'm going to cut this right here, and we're going to go get his title done and the insurance, try to figure out what's going on with my insurance. And when we get back from that, I will tell you the insurance, the home insurance story, and probably snap because I have to go talk to the actual agent because you want to answer the phone. So, see you in a minute. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not okay. No, take it down. Take it down. Take it down. So... James's car has a license plate and all that, but we're still rolling in my mom in my mama's car because apparently he needs Freon too. And we are currently going to get something to eat because well it's what time is it? Three, Three o'clock and we haven't eaten all day, so our defense will rolling that up since twelve, so Yeah, somehow we both slept through alarms and Ellie slept until twelve o'clock noon. Like noon, like twelve in the afternoon, and I didn't even wake up to her crying. She wasn't crying. She was playing in her pack and play cooing at the foot of our bed. And I woke up to coos and was like, oh my God, it's 12 o'clock. Ellie slept for 13 hours straight. I think it's during one of my 5,000 times I had to get up and go when I go. It's high. It's so high. We need to get the rest of the curtains hung up. Our house is hotter than hell right now because we have no curtains hung up. For I very. For all. Two in the morning. Well, that's because it can only do so much to catch up with how hot it got during the day. Back to the day. Back, Back to, to the story, y'all. Shut up. Anyway, no, for like a solid two and a half, three weeks, we didn't have mini blinds up either. <laughs> We live like way back off the road for one. We didn't have mini blinds up. So then we finally put the mini blinds up and then we go to do the curtains and I don't have enough curtain hardware. So then we had to go get curtain hardware and we're gonna finish doing the curtains tonight. So it's all dark and cold like a cave, which is our favorite. I had the fan on yesterday. Did you notice it was in the living room? Got it. We have a ceiling fan in our living room and like it's open floor floor. Well, y'all have seen it. <laughs> we have a ceiling fan in the living room and we have it going so hard it looks like it's gonna fly off at the ceiling. And then I have like a stand fan, stand, stand fan. And I had that sucker as high as it would go. It was just like, <laughs> just sitting there, just sweating. It was not good. All right, so that was our little check-in. We're gonna go Alright, so we're done eating lunch and now we're on our way to the grocery store. Yeah. And I forgot my grocery list, so we're just gonna be winging it. I know for sure we need like chicken, steak. Should I make a roast? Uh, Last time I made a roast, you didn't even eat it. I did too. No, you didn't. It sat in the refrigerator. I he doesn't get totally off work. He doesn't get home from work so. until 1 a.m. So it just set. I'm Should pulling out in the middle of the intersection, so I have to go. But he just let it set in the refrigerator and didn't eat any of it till it just had to be thrown away. And it was like almost an entire pot roast. That is not true. Yeah. I need coffee. We need milk. Yeah. Pizza? Pizza roll? Uh, Skip it. Oh, we need veggies. Get the pizza or just the pizza rolls? Huh? So just... Pizza or pizza rolls? We can't have both. Well, that's what I said. Get the pizza, skip the pizza rolls. I thought you said get the pizza, get the pizza rolls. Because no. you mumble. You talk like you got shit in your mouth. PG-13. <coughs> Shit's PG-13. Yeah, but not, not such an aggressive tone. Goodness uh, gracious. Oh, okay. Oh, no. You fell. Well, you didn't fall. I pushed you. All right, but we're That's on our... Such an abusive <laughs> thing to say. I'm talking oh, to Oh, no. Push. <laughs> you fell. I'm talking to the man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Not to joke about abuse, guys. A lot of people go through that stuff, and if you do, let us know. Or don't let us know. <laughs> Let the local no, authorities know. You should let us know. I'm always here to talk. And if you, whoa, if you did not notice, there's a girl. Her name is Katie. I can't remember your last name. Katie, though, she comments on almost every video, 
and I appreciate. The feedback is better than the subscribers in general, just being able to talk to people and tell them thank you and, you know, talk to them about stuff. But still, please subscribe. Yeah, definitely subscribe. Make sure you ring your bell to get notified when I upload on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But, um, like, I love it when you guys comment or a few of you know me in real life and you'll, like, snap me and stuff like that. That's, like, super gnarly when you do that. It makes my whole day better. Ask, this is having, like, a seizure. But you can ask James. I have, like, a coma part every time somebody comments. And I'm like, oh, my God, look. So, please continue to comment. But, all right. So, <laughs> that was, like, the cheesiest thing I've done thus far on this channel. I'm fairly certain. No. So, we have a fake panhandler in our town. And he got arrested like a week or two ago for blocking. You can't be arrested where I live for panhandling, but you can be arrested for blocking a, what was it, a bypass and like a highway and stuff. And he was definitely on the on ramp to the to the highway. He got arrested and now he's just moved to a different store. <laughs> he was at Walmart forever and now he's at Kroger. Mm, don't fake panhandle. Dang, you coming winging out there. Winging, swinging, whatever. So we're at Kroger. I'm gonna try to find a parking spot and we're gonna get some groceries. Oh, I meant to go and get us coffee first. Yeah, look who doesn't care. Do you not want coffee? I did. Okay, well, we're gonna go get coffee. It's hot, it's bright, and I've deaf forgot my sunglasses. I mean, my mom has hers in here. But they're definitely not my style here. They don't even block the sun. I mean, they don't even block the sun. They kind of were. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't know something about. <laughs> no, I don't like them. She also has her glasses, glasses in here because she never wears them. Hmm. How blind is my mom? You know, sad. I can see out of it. <laughs> Okay, I can see out of the top part. She has the no line bifocals. I can't see out of the bifo the bottom bifocal the bottom part. Oh. Excuse me, that was bad. That was ooh. ooh. Explain yourself nasty. Uh well like oh Hold on to your tits. Oh, um, it's it's <laughs> Did you really hold on to your tits? No <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it tasted like Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, honey, chicken. Oh, uh, we, we had Chinese food for lunch. We tear up. Where are you going, though? To Burger King. Oh, I thought we were going to go to McDonald's. No. But anyway, uh, we, tear up the, we tear up the Chinese food buffet. And we had Mexican last night. We're trash. We really need to start. And by we, I mean, I mean, just I need to start cooking more at home. But it feels like every time I cook at home, there's leftovers for four days. Because James doesn't freaking eat. I do. I just don't eat a whole lot. I need a large cherry Dr. Pepper with light ice. And a large mm. vanilla iced coffee. No. Mm. You can't try my... That'll be all. Thank you. If you have a kid around my daughter's age, which she's five months old, and they've started to laugh out loud, I've noticed that you will do the dumbest shit to make them laugh. Because that laugh is like the best thing in the whole wide world. Like, I imagine the only thing that's going to sound better than her little giggle is her saying like, Mama, I love you. Or something like that. Because right now, I eat, I eat that laugh up. I love it. Don't you? It's like the best thing ever. It's like my cocaine, to be honest. Yo, cocaine. It's my cocaine. Can't take you nowhere. What is that? Nowhere. Help me. Are there napkins in the console glove oh. box? Baby, help me. Oh. <laughs> help. I don't know what to do. Look for napkins. Okay, ah. We're going to fucking die. All right, so we're gonna get off here and get up in the style. What's she even wearing? The style. Check back in later. All right, so I know it's probably loud as hell in here because I have the air like as 
hard as it'll go because it is so hot outside. We're in a heat advisory, I've learned today. But I found the most important receipt ever. This is the receipt from buying my flooring. And we had a few cases left over and it's definitely in my freaking way. So we're about to go drop off. You can't even see them. I thought we were in my car where you could see all the way through. We're about to go drop off these groceries, load up that flooring and return that flooring. And then we're gonna be going home to work. So it's gonna work out perfectly. James is pumping gas for me right now. Baby, baby, did you do your Kroger card yet? Yeah. Okay, so he's pumping gas. I normally never go to Kroger. I normally go to a full service where, you know, they come and pump the gas for you, which I've learned is not um, like a countrywide thing. That's just in random places. My town pretty much only ever does the full serve though, but Kroger doesn't do that, but we're using Kroger because we have a ton of Kroger points. I know you're not sitting there with that door open and the air on full blast. Well, I gotta stick right here so I can get it. Yeah. You'll be all right. I guess. But I am so excited that we got this receipt. We just racked up 30 points. Well, 30 cents off a gallon. Here. Look at us go, which makes it 229. How much is gas where y'all live? Where I live, it's 259 for regular. It's $2.59 a gallon. We about to get this business on the road. Also, nobody judge my nails. Um, this is that oh my gray, but I clearly need to redo them. Don't even ask me about my feet. They're bad. <sighs> it's so hot. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, guys. Oh, we got the air. Oh, it we, is so hot outside. Yeah, I was telling them we're in a heat advisory. I'm but, too fat for this. Don't be lying. You're not Mufasa. Help me honest. Is that a song? Lying like Mufasa. You know, lying like saying lies and lying like Ram. I know, but Mufasa wasn't a liar. Lion. L I O N. Because lying and lion sound the same if you mumble, you know, like when you're rapping. I'm sure that Eminem's done it. I think that's a song. I doubt it's a song. I think it is. I legit do not think it's a song. I think it is. 10 out of 10, don't think it is. 10 out of 10, I think it is. Yeah, but you can't 10 out of 10 when I'm already 10 out of 10. Yeah, I can. That negates. Okay, well, and get shit Curse going. You, Burger King lids. Yeah, okay, so my lid, we've discovered my lid on my coffee is defective, and that's why I poured down my shirt because it did it again while we were in the grocery store. And now James is. Yours isn't leaking, though. That's the condensation off your cup. No, that, that's not a red tip. That's. Okay. Ah! Neither one of us need to be out in public today. We're having struggles. I'm so proud of myself, though, baby. You didn't even notice. I've, here lately, I've just been putting on powder foundation and just rolling, and I took the extra time today to put on my eyebrows and mascara. Did you even notice? Mm -hmm. I used to never, ever, ever leave my house without full face. full face. And I mean, like, James, we started dating when we were 17, and I bet he didn't see me without makeup on it for, like, a solid year or so. It was a while. It was a very long time. Or without my hair straightened, because I have naturally curly hair. And I was just, well, I'm still insecure about myself, but I was extra insecure back then. And I literally, if I had to run to a gas station for something for my mom, I'd be like, hold up, and put on a full face of makeup. It was just problems. I'm the exact opposite. Well, I've gotten a lot better now. I just don't care. I've been going everywhere without makeup on. And if I do have on makeup, it's just like piddly ass little powder. So, like the the other day, like the first makeup video I filmed in like the new house, the whole rest of that day, I was tripping out because I had on makeup and I was like rubbing my eye, forgetting I had on makeup because it had been so long since I wore any problems. I don't know when this is going up, but I have a date night makeup video coming. I recorded it last weekend when we were actually going on a date and like you know had it all together and uh, <laughs> I didn't hit record 
I didn't hit record. I didn't hit record. So I sat there for like a solid 30 minutes doing this really pretty warm smoky eye, which I don't even think he remembers, but it was super pretty and like super cool browny pinky lip and it was just oh my makeup came out so yeah. good that day and then I didn't even record so I know I definitely wanted to go up on a Friday for you know the weekend in case you're going on a date it might be it's Friday now it might be next Friday I don't know I don't know I don't know but we're gonna work it out but I do have a date night video coming and DIYs at the, his house Beebs hasn't been off both of his days in a while, like in a hot minute. He's been having to work one or two of his days off. And it's just a mess when he has to work because he works second, so four to midnight, but he has to leave at three and he gets home at 1 a.m. So that pretty much ties up er stuff. Because by the time he gets home and eats dinner and takes a shower and relaxes, it's like 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, so that he doesn't want to get up at 8 30, 9 o'clock with me and work on the house. So. It's just a mess when he has to work. I'm on my own. It feels good to hear you say that. What? To actually acknowledge that. I can't stand it. I don't feel so shitty now. I almost said something super terrible, though. <sighs> no, nah, I'm going to say it. We have an arrangement, okay? Okay? First thing in the morning, Ellie always gets up normally about 9.30, 10 o'clock most of the time. Huh. She sleeps like a ball she sleeps like 12 hours a day it's a, like at night in one strip it's amazing but when she wakes up her first bottle of the day james makes it and feeds her and while her bottle is warming up i change her and get her outfit ready for the day i don't get her dressed yet but like that's like that's like our routine and dead ass he's been working both of his days off here lately dead ass that is the only time of day he feeds her and like if i ask him to like, do like, one day I was really tired. I was like, baby, do you care to just change her and feed her? And he was like, oh, I guess. And I was like, you feed her one time a day. You you don't change diaper. You, you can do it. I really do not remember that. Oh, it hurts my nerves so, so bad. If, if we're just going to be 100% honest, I do not remember saying that. Oh, my God. It killed me. I was just like. I just wanted like the extra 20 minutes of sleep and he did that and then I couldn't go back to sleep because I was so livid but it's okay we have a good arrangement though and like I get it and I try to let him sleep as much as I can but sometimes I can't be letting him sleep all day because I film in our bedroom Ellie's stuff is in our bedroom and I'd sleep right through it no I, mm -mm. it's a whole thing it's a whole thing but I just thought I'd let y'all in on that little tidbit. And I'm happy James and I apparently are closer now. Come on now. Bring it in. Bring it in. So, you'll get to see my dad. God help us. He's so crazy. He's so upset that nobody's brought up new names for my channel. Which you guys don't have to. It's fine. It's fine. But if y'all could leave a comment and be like, oh, your dad. That'd be nice. Because he keeps asking if he's YouTube famous yet. He's dingy. He's so dingy. And now I'm going 50 and a 35. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Do y'all want to hear James's catchphrase? He's only done it once and I'll never forget it. Do you know what it is? Uh-uh. I was extra pregnant with Ellie and I had stood oh, up <laughs> really early in the morning like 4.30 or so in the morning. And when, no, it was like 5.30 and I was trying to get ready for work or something and I fell. And when I say I fell, I mean like my knees just gave out and I literally just sat straight down on my butt. But I, I fell. I was on the ground and James didn't know what was happening. And he went, baby! And like, Dukes of Hazard rolled over our bed and was like, baby! And like ran over and picked me up like a child, like under my armpits. And I was just like, I'm fine. And we get done oh, with no. the on the way back across town to get my mom her car and pick up our cars, we're gonna stop at old, um, what? An, <laughs> an automotive pot store so he can get a license plate mount kit thingy did, and- Did you just say automotive pot store? Part, part, pert. 
Anyway, so he can get a license plate mount and some Freon. Damn, now it's 95. Gonna get some sweet Freon. Anybody that's like, ooh, I totally want to retire and move to the south. It's six. Don't. It's six o'clock at night and it's 95 degrees outside. Oh. Uh, and this isn't even summer yet. This is like our spring. Summer ain't even here yet. Okay. Uh, we're in a heat advisory. Summer is when the heat advisory is because the, um, what is it called? The feels like weather. Yeah. What is that called? You know what I'm talking about. Is when it's like 98 degrees in reality, but it feels like it'll get up to like 110 and muggy. Why, why don't they just say that? Why do we have to know I don't what know. they think it but is? But it, it gets but muggy. It's like, but it feels like. But it, it's muggy as hell all the time. And even if there's a breeze, it's like. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's a Jim Gaffigan joke. Yeah. And it's super, super, super humid all the time and super hot. And it's just not. It's not a good time, bro. Straight up not having a good time. So, 10 out of 10, not impressed. Yeah, 10 out of 10, don't recommend moving to the south. It's not a good jam. Although I've never lived anywhere else. I have no doubt. This is all you have to base off of. It's hot as hell. That's what I have to base this off of. I'm just saying. James has lived all over the country. And uh, nice. <laughs> I've always lived here. In fact, our new house is technically out of city limits so I've technically officially lived in two places. Two towns. I'm killing Look it. Look at you. Never left the county. I have never left the county. So, y'all know. Alright, well we're almost alone. Alright, so, still hotter than a hooch coochie. And now it's 6.30. We are leaving Lowe's. Oh, hold up. You know what, guys? Oh, I can't flip it. Well, my dad's right there about to hit me. Really? I don't want to get behind him. Yeah, old dead foot. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> he thinks he's funny. Anyway, um, he's going to his mom's house to fix her air. We're going to get a can of Freon for his new car and a license plate thingy mount. Mount? License plate mount. License plate mounting screws. Yeah, and then we're going to our house. Our house. And then we're going to your mom's. Do you not? We're off kilter today because normally I'll start a song and James will finish it. And he's just not paying attention anymore. Our house. I don't remember the words to that song, but in our house. <laughs> in the middle of the street. Our house. Oh. Do you not really? No, okay, but no, anyway. No. Wow, I look extra greasy today. How you dare? We're going to be painting and moving furniture. And you got to hang up the towel racks, toilet paper holders, and the hand towel holders. And I think I'm going to take a bubble bath. I have that giant ass soaker tub and I've yet to take a bath. That sounds so good. I guess you can take a bath. I guess I'll just take a bath in my own tears in the shower. So we're at my mom's house and James is messing with his license plate. So I'm coming in to play with Ellie Belly for a minute. What are you doing? Look how pretty you are. Uh, yeah, so that's all we're doing right now. And then we're gonna finally go home, but we only live like two blocks away, so. How handy, how handy, yeah. So we've been struggling a little, a little bit today, but I'm about to film a video with this exact hot mess of a hair, so we're just going to ignore that. But I wanted to show some updates in this bathroom. We have a hand towel rack. All the duck stuff is out. There's tools everywhere. We have this going. This is actually a thermometer for Ellie's baths. And then we have the towel rack up. Look at us go. And a towel paper holder. So, not perfect by any means, but it's definitely better than what it was. So, yay. And 
I already showed you that, but I'm starting on the gallery wall in here. It's not going too hot. James is going to help me finish it because these two things right here are um, a bitch and a half to try to hang up. And then we centered my coffee sign over the coffee bar. Maybe not all the way, but a lot closer than what it was. And we're about to hang these up. We have the gangster wrap sign. I got my straws going. My brother painted me this like years and years and years ago. There's random tools everywhere, but it's getting better. Slowly but surely. And then I'm probably gonna add in me doing my face makeup, but not a lot has happened in here except i have that a little bit more set up and we are about to film and if you've ever made a video on youtube before then you know that you never wear actual pants i'm wearing james's sweatpants so it's going well also i forgot to definitely show in here i have a whole shelf <laughs> i'm making progress slowly but surely so i'm gonna hop off of here and go set up my stuff in there and start filming i'm probably gonna talk to you guys while i do my face me okay so i don't know how i feel about this filming setup we still gotta we still gotta work on some stuff and figure it out but for right now this is going to work out okay um i'm just gonna finish out the vlog as i'm doing my makeup for a video i'm about to film i go ahead and get my face makeup done and then just film the eye portion so it's not 12 hours long. We are really truly not going to talk about this hair. It was actually, I'm not going to like do a tutorial style or anything. I'm literally just going to talk to you guys and finish this vlog out. Um, I've got to do something about this. It's trash. It's beer trash up there. It, lo it looks bad. So, not only have I been best cup I've ever bought. I'm trying a different iced coffee recipe and I have to say it's not my favorite. I might have over extended myself this fair weekend. It's actually, I started this film, yes, this film, <laughs> this video, I started filming it yesterday, which was Friday, May 24th? Yeah, 24th and um, it was basically just me and Beeb's gems running around town, running some errands and getting groceries and stuff like that. I wanted it to be a lot more, but by the time we got done with getting his car situated and all of that, it was definitely like 10 o'clock at night. I think I filmed one little snippet of like what we had gotten done yesterday, but it was like three o'clock in the morning when I was filming that. So we didn't get as much footage as I thought we were gonna get yesterday. So then I was like, well, I'll just vlog today, but today has not been a very good freaking day for me personally. It's been a stressful freaking weekend. I still have to go get, I need to go get tires put on my car my car just so you know it's the end of May and I got that car in October um, because I was pregnant and I wanted something a little bit more kid friendly because my I had an Impala before I have like an SUV thingy now but I had an Impala before and it was like a death freaking trap and I refused to get a new car because I was like I don't really care so <clears throat> I had to finally bite the dust and get a different car but I got the car and so far I've had to replace the brakes, the oil, the air, and now the tires in like seven months. It's killing me just a little bit, but that's stuff that has to be done, so. I guess it's fine. I prefer to do other stuff, but it's, well, it's whatever. Um. If you guys want to see a new foundation routine, because I definitely do it differently now, 
just like holler at me let me know it's different but uh I still have to go up up front and get my old tires because where I live for some reason they charge you to get rid of the old tires that they've just replaced which I think is bullshit <laughs> and I refuse to pay for it um well here's what happened my car apparently has a weird size tire like that not a lot of cars have it's not very common so when I this is actually the second time replacing the tires so when I first got it it needed tires so and I couldn't find the right size tires so of course I called my dad and my stepdad and they were like these will work fine they're just a little too small it's totally fine so I was low riding and then one tire was weak it had a weak wall why is that lighting so bad I'm not really sure what just happened with my light. Anyway, I just looked over and it was just like whitewashed. But um, one one tire had like a weak wall or something on it. So it kept getting flat and eventually it got so flat and I was airing it up just so you guys know. <laughs> it was getting so flat and it finally just fell off the rim while I was driving with my child in the car. But anyway, so I put my donut on and I got... I went to find the correct size tires, couldn't find the correct size tires, couldn't find the same size tire that I had to just replace that one tire on the set that was too small. So now I have a whole new set that's a little too big. I have car issues. Anyway, so three of those tires that they took off were completely fine. There's nothing wrong with them. And then just one of them was like messed up. So I had them get rid of the one bad one and then I was like, give me my good three tires back. Also, I don't know how I feel about this filming setup. I kind of like it. I'm, I haven't had a table to like film it in so long, but this table is not my vanity. It's like a small little entryway table that I've just thrown in here and hand on a Bible, swear to God. This is literally the depth that my tripod sits. So like there's three little cups with like my brushes and stuff on them, my lights and a mirror. And then I'm working out of my freaking makeup cart over here. So ugh, my vanity is like way bigger than this though. So I shouldn't have this problem once I get my vanity painted in here and in here, but I don't really see the point in putting the vanity in here just to take it back out and sand it and paint it. So yeah, no. My stepdad actually said he would paint it and sand it for me if I gave them the right color paint so I might just skip that and get, let him do it because I've learned painting furniture is not my forte my dad has my entertainment center painting it right now and then Ellie's dresser is actually well not this dresser not her little dresser but like from the big dresser that's like that one back there was actually James's grandmother's and uh he said it was fine and she said it was fine we asked her if we painted it so once we get the entertainment center done we gotta start painting the damn dresser and I feel like the dresser is gonna be way harder than the entertainment center because just all the damn drawers on it the handles all have to be taken out and it comes with a giant mirror with the shelves on the side so just in my mind I think that's gonna be a lot I think I just got like way off subject the original storyline here is I think I overstretched myself this weekend because I'm filming this blog blog vlog I'm filming this vlog and I'm actually working on the house and I want to film the date night look because I thought I filmed it I think it's earlier in this vlog I thought I filmed it last weekend when we were actually going on a date and I didn't hit record I was just talking to myself <clears throat> so there's that and then um I need I want to do um I want to do a zero to three month um video oh my god could I have that any further down so 
I've been really liking this palette. I clearly only use like these two shades. I randomly dip up in this, but mainly, mainly that one. But on occasion, I'll venture through. I don't foresee myself ever wearing this gold, but I totally see the purple and blue on occasion, like when I'm doing a special look. But anyway, I think I might have way overstretched myself. Because Ellie, when Ellie was like a newborn, it was a lot easier for me to film because you know she slept a lot more. You know she wasn't. Uh, why is it doing this? I would obviously you know like cuddle her and stuff, but she didn't need near as much attention. Whereas right now she's five months old officially, and she just wants to play and be cuddled and eat and climb and try to sit up and all that and she can't do that by herself clearly yet so she just needs like way more like attention than normal and that sounds terrible and like our apartment was so small that I could lay her down in our living room in her little nappy thing or I could, you know, put her in her bassinet and I could film and still hear her. And like, if she for real like started scream crying, I would be able to hear her in this house, but she would be so far away from me. And yeah, I know her pack and place right there and I could put her right there. But that just seems a little weird. Does no one else think that's a little bit weird? Probably not. So I'm just having issues. I get scared to film when I'm here by myself so this weekend because James finally had both days off I was like gung-ho I was gonna get some shit done and he goes back to work tomorrow and I'm just trying to get some videos ripped to go I'm excited to get Ellie's room finished painting painted I'm excited to finish painting her room so that we can get Clearly, she's not going to be in there for a while, but it's just the fact it bothers me that so much stuff isn't done in this house. Um, I just feel like I overextended myself just a little bit with the amount of stuff I had on my little to-do list to get done this weekend. That's fine. I will get it all done, but it's definitely not all happening this weekend. But You take what you can get. And James, God love him. He just wants to relax because it's his days off, but... Like, there's some stuff that I just don't know how to do or just really need help with because I know I'm going to mess it up if I try to do it by myself. So, I know he just wants to relax, but damn, I need help. I'm pretty much done with my base makeup. So, now I'm going to uh, cut you guys off in this vlog and vlog. Why do I keep saying vlog? What? 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 But I'm going to cut it off here and I will see you all in my next video very, very soon. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can follow me on Instagram. It's linked down below. Always, always, always. And I hope you guys like this vlog and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.